Hello Baku News visitors, welcome again. Today's our meeting will be about President Ilham Aliyev's visit to Brussels. Azerbaijani President Ilham Aliyev has arrived in Brussels, the capital of the Kingdom of Belgium, for a working visit at the invitation of European Council President Charles Michel. President of the Republic of Azerbaijan, Ilham Aliyev, had a meeting with the President of the European Council, Charles Michel, and Prime Minister of the Republic of Armenia, Nikol Pashinyan, in Brussels on May 22nd. The sides agreed on the first session of the Border Commissions to be held in the coming days. The meeting will cover all issues to the border delimitation and uh, regional stability. Transit agreements have also been uh, reached uh, between the western part of Azerbaijan and countries Nakhchivan, as well as through the territory of Azerbaijan between different parts of Armenia. The leaders came to an agreement to proceed with the opening transport corridors as well as with the regulation of international transport. The sides also decided to continue discussing on a future peace treaty between Armenia and Azerbaijan. I think that meeting with Charles Michel was very encouraging and that there was more substance in the press statement published by Michel than we have, uh, we have seen. Following earlier discussion, Paul started. This was the third such meeting Charles Michel, President Ilham Aliyev, and Nikol Pashinyan. We can see the progress. There is much more substance being discussed and increasing commitments made to progress peace. These steps may be small baby steps, but they uh, should not be underestimated. Furthermore, the European Council is now playing a central role in the post-war period in the terms of bringing about a peace deal. Steps uh, towards reconstructions and long-term sustainable peace and reconciliation, Paul added. President of Azerbaijan showed the whole world that he is true peacemaker. Frankel stressed that the mood in Armenia is completely opposite. We see that the Armenian society and the oppositions, which has gathered thousands of protesters in Yerevan, and it trying in every possible way to disrupt the signing of a peace treaty. Armenia doesn't understand that. The country has no other choice, and peace treaty is the only thing that can lead Armenia out of the terrible economic, political, and demographic crisis, he said. According to the experts, the Armenian side having lost the war may lose diplomatic talks too. See you again. Bye.